Hello y'all, my name is Mimis Tier and welcome back to another brand new video. So today I'm gonna show you guys the top 10 best melee weapons that you can still get in Arsenal that can give you in a lot of kills as well as pretty sweet backstabs. As you guys know, this is the updated version. I've actually made like another video on the top 10 melee, which is actually pretty good. But I must say, this is the latest one, which will give you an in depth review on each melee weapons and you know, its special powers and things like that. But before I go in any further, I just want to state that it's clearly my opinions. All knives have their own special abilities, but I'm gonna, you know, stick with my personal favorite ones. And if you have any favorite melee, Comment down below and I'm gonna look it up for reals. Also, I won't be mentioning any sorts of you know weapons that cannot be obtained in the game because I want to make this fair game for my audience. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's get on with the video. A number 10 is Kunai, which is fan favorite because I believe it really gives off a shinobi vibe with its aesthetic kind of backstab. You gotta try it out. I mean, a lot of people watch anime and stuff, and this is pretty sick. At number 9, the fish. You gotta use this because this is one of the goofiest melee weapons I've seen in Arsenal. Plus, it's a great way to troll your friends. Imagine backstabbing someone with this fish. They'll be very pissed off at you. At number 8 is the katana, which is one of the best melee weapons in Arsenal because of its long range and pretty sick animation then boys y'all better try this because you guys can definitely see that versatile and smooth backstab everyone will be jealous of you if you use the katana. At number 7 is the chainsaw which has been one of the oldest Arsenal weapons that still plays a very sick animation and boys if you want to impress your friends you better use the chainsaw because nobody will resist a chainsaw man. On number 6 is the Energy Qatar and the Endbringer which was part of the science fiction update which was pretty sick at the time and boys Endbringer is one of the longest swords that you can get in Arsenal and it does have a pretty sick animation and if you're into katanas you will definitely love the Endbringer. And now we have the Energy Qatar and I gotta say it's pretty sick because of its aesthetic vibe model and the color scheme i really love you know playing with energy guitar and all because it brings in that extra amount of swagness at number five we have yet another old arsenal melee that will really put you on the move and boys the animation might look a bit bland but it's pretty badass and you have a fantastic time playing this. At number 4 is Kopesh which is recently one of the legendary swords on Arsenal that you can really get a vibe with. I've been using it for a while and I gotta say it has similar animations like Katana but it's really really sick you know I mean if you're fed up of using Katana you might have to give a try to Kopesh which is really a badass weapon. Before we move on to the final top 3, I'ma show you guys the underrated ones that definitely need some love. And before we go any further, I just want to say, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to hit, you know, 3k subscribers by the end of the year and it'll absolutely mean an entire world for us. So, please subscribe. Thanks so much. Here are some honorable mentions. Noki Hammer is an awesome weapon and is Energy Blade a good weapon? Yes it is sir, you should definitely check it out and I believe it has potential. And now Tomahawk, I've seen a lot of pros use it and I gotta say it's personally one of my favorite little, you know, melee weapons. As you guys can see, it does have a very cool aesthetic vibe with it and it can go pretty rad with, you know, the melee textures and you gotta try it out for reals. Then there's Rapier which is yet another wonderful sword which you can really use it around so but the only downside is that it doesn't have a sick backstab animation. Classic sword which is one of the fan favorites and everyone messaged me on my previous video telling me I needed to include the sword and I gotta say it's pretty dope it does have you know a lot of animations and stuff but it does have a very boring backstab animations but other than that it's a pretty sick sword. Oh, number three is Bad Axe, which is also fan favorite. People loved this, you know, melee when it was added, and you know, y'all been like DMing me, telling me to like feature it up, and now I'm featuring it because it's one of you know the type of melee that you do not see often. I mean, we haven't got a axe like melee in ages, and this gotta be pretty lit. I recommend like you know checking it out with your friends because it's really long ranged and can give you that extra bit of boost. Oh, number 2 is the Butterfly Knife, which is everyone's favorite, which has the sickest and 
baddest animations on Arsenal and y'all probably love it boys. I've been using butterfly knife you know since forever and I gotta say you won't be disappointed like just imagine you know playing with this butterfly knife it's used by you know so many youtubers and stuff and plus it gives you that smooth arsenal gameplay i would say 100 percent try checking you know the butterfly knife out and it could really give you that bit of professional boost that you always needed our number one is the carabin knife which actually gets the number one spot of this year i've actually you know had a really good time using these knives and i gotta say carabin has one of the sickest animations and the dope monstrosity wipe if you are looking to dominate you better use this baddie